Alright, back again, Luke here, and today I just want to show you what I did with that uh, Pana Custom uh, arcade control box here. And as you can see, I put uh, another overlay over the top here. What I wound up doing is uh, sanding off all of the rust. You can see up here, this is uh, still pretty bad, but um, I couldn't find the exact color match for the paint. Um, and up here where all the uh, one-player credits and the two-player start buttons were, there was a lot of rust, so I had to sand that down, and I tried to... Uh, touch it up a bit. Didn't come out uh, very well, so I'm going to have to see if I can find some other paint. But uh, just to show you guys what this thing used to look like, um, if you take a look here, this is my uh, iPhone, and uh, this is the amount of rust that was uh, all over the uh, front panel here. It had it uh, down in the corners, um, it had it up in the top, and then up here towards the start button and uh, the credit button area. So after chiseling away some of that stuff, it just got bigger and bigger. So uh, the second one here is where I wound up sanding it down. I sanded it down to bare metal. And I tried a couple of different paints on it. Uh, this paint here is basically an ash gray, uh, that uh, the original color around here. But I couldn't find an ash gray, so I tried to uh, uh, experiment with some different colors here. And uh, unfortunately, the first time I did it, uh, I wound up getting a really dark gray. And that was just to uh, try and uh, get around the edges and uh, try and keep the paint from chipping off anymore and trying to protect the bare metal there. So that didn't work. So I went and uh, I tried to redo this and uh, I tried a lighter color and um, the lighter gray, although it was similar, it still was off by a lot. But uh, fortunately, what I was able to do is after this dried, I wound up sanding this down even more here to get it really fine. Uh, I sanded down the sides here to get it even better. And uh, you can see up there at the top, that's still uh, some of the, uh, the bare metal that I had. But uh, I wound up getting some uh, some vinyl for this, and I cut it out. I desoldered all of the buttons, which was really a pain, and uh, took the uh, joysticks out and cut the um, the vinyl to the right size, and then uh, put it down there, and was able to get the control panel. I, I think it looks a lot better uh, than what it originally did. You know, aside from the top part here, where the uh, start, credit, and second player buttons are. It doesn't look too bad. Um, it looks a lot better than what it did before with a lot of rust on it. But just figured I'd show you guys uh, what I wound up doing with this thing. Hopefully, eventually in the future here, I'll be able to touch up that uh, top part as well. Um, I really didn't want to change this box too much. Uh, I didn't want to go over the Panda Custom logo. Really didn't want to go over the Auto Shot logos or anything. Um, and I wanted to try and save it as much as possible. If I would have found the exact color that I needed, I would have. Uh, painted the uh, the rust parts uh, to match the rest of the, the box, but unfortunately, as many people know, once you have uh, something painted, whether it be a car or anything metal, um, over time and due to fading, sun fading, and uh, the like, uh, even if you get the exact color and you put the exact color on there, it's still going to stand out, um, you know, due to those factors, but... Well, for the most part, it's coming uh, along a little bit better, and uh, yeah, I think it looks a, a lot nicer than what it first did when I first got it. Kind of sharpen it up a little bit, and uh, it's really smooth, really nice surface to play on, so just figured I'd show that to you guys. Also over here, um, what I did while I'm over here is uh, I had an old broken board, and what I did is I cut the, uh, the JAMA strip, I cut a piece off of it, and uh, this thing has four tabs on I really only need three. Uh, this is actually just a spacer, but um, I cut the part off of the, uh, the JAMA board and uh, wired up the rest of the parts for a kick harness. So now this thing actually just fits right in there. And I have all these different wires sticking out here, but I have a Mortal Kombat 1 kick uh, harness here. This is a uh, Ultimate Mortal Kombat 3, and I have Mortal Kombat 2 down here. Uh, not the prettiest of wiring jobs, but nonetheless it gets the job done. I wired up uh, both the Mortal Kombat boards, uh, Mortal Kombat 1 and 2, and tested those out. I haven't tried out uh, Mortal Com uh, Ultimate Mortal Kombat 3, but it should work out pretty good. But uh, just figured I'd show you guys that. It's another little update here. But as for the, uh, the board, it's working great. Uh, the pictures actually come out a little bit clearer since last time. Uh, unfortunately, I don't have any boards hooked up at the moment. But uh, it does look a lot more uh, sharper, so I was able to adjust some of the uh, different pots on the side here and got it to work out a lot better. But 
this is where we're at right now. And as you can see there, yeah, you can see my white PS3 and my black PS3. I had a lot of comments on those, so, but yeah, they just sit there. Got some Wii games uh, in the back and some movies, but yeah. So I just figured I'd show you guys uh, a little bit of an update on my control panel here, and that's about all for me for right now. Like always, I'll put up another video here soon, so thanks for watching.